वेलकम बैक एवरी वन लेटेस्ट डिस्कस दिस इंटरेस्टिंग ज्योमेट्री प्रॉब्लम देर इज ए क्वार्टर सर्कल गिवन टू अस देर इज ए सेमी सर्कल इन साइड दिस क्वार्टर सर्कल टचिंग वन ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द क्वार्टर सर्कल एट दिस पॉइंट विच इज एट ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम दिस वर्टेक्स एंड देर इज वन मोर कंडीशन एट अनदर पॉइंट वेर इट इज टचिंग द क्वार्टर सर्कल दिस पॉइंट इज सच दैट इट्स डिवाइड द आर्क सेगमेंट ऑफ क्वार्टर सर्कल इन टू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स based on this condition we have to find the area of this semi circle this is the condition which we have been given to us now first of all based upon the given conditions in the question what is the information that we already know we know that this is a quarter circle so this angle must be 90 degree now this is the center of this quarter circle if i draw a line from this point and join this point where this semi circle is touching the quarter circle we know that the length of this arc is equal to length of this arc so the angle at the center must be equal because we know that is the property of the circle equal arc length subtend same angle at the center of circle so this angle must be equal to this angle total is 90 degree so this angle we can say it will be 90 degree divided by 2 that is 45 degree this is first information second information we can say that this line is tangent to the red semi circle so we can say that if i will draw a perpendicular from this point that is the point of contact that will definitely pass through the center of this semi circle that is the condition of tangency of a circle so now we can say that this length is the radius of this circle this is also radius and this must also be the radius of this circle because distance of a center of a circle from the tangent's point of contact is equal to radius and it is perpendicular now to find the area of this semi circle we just need to find the value of r to do that what i will do is let me just remove this 45 degree i will use this information again i will draw a perpendicular from this point upon this tangent only now we can say that this length is 6 cm this length must also be 6 cm now how can we say that to understand this let's draw a perpendicular from this point to this line and from this point to this line just take a look at this triangle and this triangle this angle is 90 degree now this angle if it is theta this angle must also be theta because these two lines are parallel to each other and these are parallel to the tangent so we can say that this triangle and this triangle they are the similar triangles and similar triangles side one length is equal this is r this is r so the remaining sides must be equal so this side length must be equal to this side length this side length can also be written as r cos theta and this is also r cos theta using trigonometry and now you can say from this rectangle because here is angle also 90 degree this length will also be 6 this will be 6 and similarly this length is equal to this length so this length must also be 6 cm so this is the information we can say we could have said this information directly also just by looking at this trapezium just take a look at this trapezium this line is parallel to this line so these lengths are equal r and r so they must also be equal 6 and 6 that can also be said directly from there so now how we use this information in the next step in the next step i will use the information of this 45 degree angle so now this length is 12 cm so in this vertical triangle here if you use the trigonometry this is the perpendicular this is the base so p upon 12 is equal to 1045 so this length must also be 12 because 12 upon 12 that will represent 10 theta equal to 1 that will represent 45 degree angle now we'll just use pythagoras theorem in this triangle which we already made earlier because by using pythagoras theorem we can easily find the value of r so this length we already know 6 this length is r this vertical length is what we know that this length is r so this length total is 12 so the remaining length is nothing but 12 minus r now by using pythagoras theorem we can write hypotenuse square that is r square equal to perpendicular square plus base square that is 6 square So now we will just apply the formula of a minus b square. This is r square plus 144 minus 24r equal to 36. R square and r square will cancel out from both sides. 24r will be equal to 180. 
and R will be 180 by 24 that is nothing but 15 by 2 which can be written as 7.5. So now we can easily find the area of this semicircle because the area of total circle is pi r square and that will be half of the circle so that area will be pi r square multiplied by half. So that will be the answer to this particular problem. If there is any other method in your mind that you can think of solving this problem, just share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.